Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper right-hand corner. We have Supperman starting as the red Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Nilsi, aka Monkey Ball, starting as the blue Protoss. This is BSL Season 16, Hasu League, round of 32, Group B. Nilsi is up 1-0 over Supperman. And if he wins... I'm actually trying to think how this works, if this is actually just exiting for position, because there was a withdraw here. My brain is not operating the best today. This is on Vermeer, so it's one of the larger, more macro-oriented maps. However, game one, I felt like Nilsi was in firm control all the way through. I know Supperman is no slouch. I'm trying to think if overall I want to call this the group of death. I actually need to look at the rest around to 32 and the placements there. I actually feel like the group that Lana is hot is in. Because I think that group has Lana, has Advil, has a couple really, really strong players. And I wouldn't be shocked actually to see at least one of those, if not both of the players that come out of that group, make it all the way to the final four, if not the round of eight. I don't want to call it and say that that's the group that's going to provide us the Hasu League champion this year. But you got a lot of vets and high caliber players there. Gateway opener on both ends to start. No scouting as of yet from either guy. Hope everybody's also doing well out there. Be sure to take care of yourselves. Get the rest as you can. Stay hydrated. That action. Been trying to uh, stay on top of the workout aspect, but it's kind of odd. My weight has not adjusted, but the amount of weight I've been lifting has been increasing, which is a bit puzzling. So go figure. Anyway, double gateway opener. It looks like actually for Nilsi, we are seeing a, which is very risky on a four player map. Especially not going the nine take the nine ten variation, so it's a later gateways, and also, so yeah, slow gateways, and on a four player map, and he hasn't scouted yet, but it looks like he is going to get the initial scouting information with that pro going the upper right hand corner. It looks like a zealot is being produced before Cybernetic score as Supperman getting no information. The top left might have been able to spare himself. Well, he's going to need a zealot, but might have been able to spare himself a zealot if there was. Lack of information. Fortunately for Supperman, let's see if he moves this probe caddy corner upon seeing that probe enter his base. 7x core warping in. Looks like he is, in fact, doing that with that probe. That'll suit well. Three zealots holding, and it looks like it is just going to be three zealots making their way up. Assimilator is there. There's the first Dragoon. The zealots waiting to traverse until they've got all three on site. Interesting play. So rather than making chaos initially. And let's see if this, does this zealot decide to hold? No, that zealot's going to continue. So the probe sees it for supper, and he knows it's a two gate now. And one trouble against a two gate with this is that probe interior to the base can be an X factor, especially dropping a pylon action like that. Probe, at least two probes are going to be needed to pull off the line. But the other thing is the probe can disrupt troop movements right there on the main. Range being upgraded, second Dragoon on the way. This is going to be a tough hold for Supperman actually. Two Zelts making the way up. Zelt and the probe there. They're just going to seed the initial position. Now try to close in and get a free, a couple free shots. That Dragoon taking a lot of shots. Probe's already out of it. One Zealot still heavily damaged, but that Dragoon is already down to base health. You can see this Zealot was trying to push them away from the Dragoon. One probe already down in the line. So Nilsi able to get right in that probe line. Second Dragoon is out. And the Zealot trying to do additional damage to keep out of there. It looks like gas disruption in the meantime. Another probe down. So Nilsi getting a three probe lead out of this. Oh, four probe lead out of this. I thought that was going to be it. And that probe... I'm not sure if this is a later probe, but that same probe making its way out. I think it exploded in the main. Citadel of a Dune being dropped from Supperman to follow this. Feeling that he's sufficiently behind that he's in emergency mode. So now, if Nilsi just drops a robo right this second, it is very likely he will just flat out win. He's not in, he's in a position to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. He's not in a position really to continue the push, but Supperman doesn't have his second or third gateway up as well, so he's not exactly in a position to outproduce his opponent, and he's down economically overall. So take it back. Still ended up working for Nilsi. Got to hand it to him. Range advantage is there, but that's mostly negated by the high ground advantage here. Four Dragoons are out. I do like that he's fanning out and blockading just any sort of additional scouting information. Templar Archives dropping. Now let's see if Nilsi plays it safe, drops a forge, drops some form of detection, or 
if he just does this, plants Dragoons at the natural expansion and ops to go without detection, there is a pretty sizable window. Supperman going to go ahead and get that initial DT out, dropping a forge himself, and I assume expand behind this as well. As of enough of a defense force to work, there's a robotics facility. So now it is a question of timing because the Templar Archives is coming online right this second. I'm curious if we're going to see one or two Dark Templar. Looking for it. So it looks like it's just an initial Dark Templar. No, we are seeing double Dark Templar. And the robotics facility only about halfway finished. I, My instincts tell me, my instincts, not actual flat-out information, tell me that this is not going to be in time. However, with six Dragoons going up against four Dragoons and a Zealot at the natural expansion, potentially the Dark Templar are going to have to stay at home base to provide supplemental defense. They're engaging right now, getting a great annihilation hit right there, forcing Supperman up the ramp, and that should force a Nexus cancellation. The Dark Templar are now going to save the day. So one, one should branch off and go straight to the natural expansion. So now DTs have been revealed. Robotics facility is up. And actually, because these DTs are held here, this is now turning into a situation where Supperman just needs to hold the natural, maybe not even worry about getting into the probe line as the observatory about to come online and the Dark Templar really aren't going to have a shot to sneak into the main. So they're just going to try to get, yeah, additional kills. One breaking off now. No forge here yet. And what is, are Nilsi going to, so Nilsi is going to try to play a quick one, drop his Nexus, not at his natural expansion, so he can defend against the Dark Templar and catch up in additional bases. Also, two cannons being dropped behind this. The High Templar doesn't have Storm, needs to back out of the high ground. And just aggressively pressing forward, these three troops able to make it into the main. They're going to get the High Templar, if nothing else. The Dark Templar still needs to make it through two Dragoons. And there's an Observer right there, and Ilse playing fantastically. So going to get some additional probe kills. Is going to be behind on that second Nexus, but not all that far behind because he hit this Nexus back in this corner. The probes now moving out to the natural expansion, but Nilsi really putting on a clinic here. Supperman in a lot of trouble. Half the supply at this stage. More Dark Templar being produced. Trying to defend this, but he's been absolutely everywhere, just been crushing. Crushing defense. And he's also in a position to maybe, once that observer's out, grab a quick third. Still getting more probes. Up nine workers right now. That Zealot getting caught on the edge finally. It looks like He's still going to get another one. Even got another one. Wow. I wish this is one of those things where I could pull up the, the kill counter to let you know exactly how many probes Nilsi butchered despite not having Dark Templar out on the field. That was quite the, uh, quite the display, I will say. It puts him in a fantastic position, although this Nexus very exposed. I don't know if this cannon's going to get up, and this could be... It, I don't know that this is going to be a Nexus killing maneuver, but it is going to create a little bit of distraction. Maybe should have gone to the probe there as that cannon is morphing in. The observer is making its way down. The probe's actually already on the march for Nilsi. Huge worker lead. Supperman able to close the gap a little bit at, out of that double Nexus production. Observer is also able to see the three gateways behind this. Size storm just now being researched. It's going to be a while. And he's got a decent sized gateway flood behind this. So he's going to have twice the gateways. Two Nexus to work with. Plus one weapons, I believe, is going to be out much earlier. Yeah, it looks like plus one weapons wasn't finished on the opposite end. Let me make sure of that. Yeah, no plus one weapons in the midst of this. We do have two High Templar to at least allow Supperman to survive. But if those High Templar get sniped, that would be it. On top of that, if Nilsi wants to grab his third, which it looks like he's going to grab his third, ironically, at his natural expansion in a moment here. He can go ahead and take that economic lead. Probe scouting along that left-hand edge. It looks like Supperman sending out another probe as well. Wants to scout it. And I'll be blunt. I feel like Nilsi's in a situation where not only could he... Uh, looks like had one observer escorted out and is going to move that next observer right in. But he could go ahead and... Uh, why is he dropping a pylon here? Instead of the Nexus. This I don't understand. Hopefully this isn't a broken replay. But... Really, Nilsi could double expand if he wanted to in the midst of this. I wonder if he's dropping dropping this to try to fool Supperman Observer that might be there or something along those lines. Maybe it's just... This feels like a little bit out of position, though. But I don't know what the logic was behind dropping the pylon and not dropping a, a Nexus there. Probe gets killed bottom left. 
to at least clear up some vision. Regardless, Nilsi has a sizable supply lead. He will have the weapons lead. He's getting his own Templar archives up. Gateway's a little bit scattered out here, and this is... I hate to say it, Nartosis Pylon. I never want to use that word out there because I just feel bad. Also, it's a StarCraft II term more than it is a uh, Brood War term, but... Yep, that Pylon's controlling a lot of tech. But it, it shocks me that Nilsi's not going for an additional base here and just sticking on two and macroing up, which leads me to believe he's thinking about following us up with a bust. And if that is the case, Supperman still might have life. As he's got a slew of size storms, which could equalize the war pretty rapidly. Five gateways. Continue to uh, construct. Looks like we're seeing... Did we see... Did I see a Dark Templar there? Yeah, it looks like a Dark Templar opposite side. A shuttle as well. So now a Dark Templar drop potentially at the main. This might be in response to the apparent lack of observers. Because here's the robotics facility just starting. So now it's the same situation close to the beginning of the match, but a lot later. The probe doesn't quite see the shuttle dropping a pylon defensively too late. And so now see, now they'll see going to, and this might be a GG moment right here. So there's a photon cannon warping in. There's the observatory. If the Dark Templar split, take out the cannon. And the observatory, that would be game. Looks like the Dark Templar are following the Observer line, unfortunately. So the Observatory going to stay online. That cannon now being worked on. The Dark Templar having some trouble getting to it now. It's still going to be very, very close. Up for a half second and down again. Initial Observer being constructed. And again, more. This has been the story of this game. Massacre of probes. And the only way to take care of these Dark Templar is to really storm his own units overall. Where's the second DT? So looks like he's working on the gas. So finally, the Observer out. One Dark Templar taken care of. Are they going to catch the second Dark Templar before this gas gets taken out? The answer is no. So also, gas halted. So it's only a single gas to work with. Going to get a Zealot on top of it? No, at least gets that kill. Now grabbing that Nexus and grabbing that third base. But uh, this feels like overkill. 40 supply lead. Some Zealots wandering up, trying to get on top of the High Templar, not quite able to. Wondering if that was a miss rally or something along those lines. Supperman's kind of all in at this stage and really should, yeah, just pile drive with what attack he has to try to make that happen. Fortunately, he's going up into a superior attack force. Fortunately for him, though, he does have Psy Storm. And if he gets a good Psy Storm off, this he could equalize things. Also grabbing, it looks like a third Nexus behind this. So if he can get a really good engagement... Drop some good size storm on his un his opponent before he realizes it. Looks like Nilsi going for some high Templar drops to follow it up. It could be a really good situation for him. But otherwise, 10 workers behind, economically behind, 40 supply behind. And uh not in the and it looks like high storm drops. And looks like Nilsi feeling that he can just walk into his opponent. Thinking better of it after realizing that he's got an unknown bulk of army. More High Templar making their way to the north. Some cannons protecting as well. So this might be a follow-up storm drop. And there are still a lot of probes there in the main. Still a lot of probes. 40 supply lead now for Nilsi. Some really impressive macro. The observer is going to get picked off as well. Ah, just barely able to swing around. To see that natural expansion saturated. I think... Nilsi is waiting for this army to commit before he sends those High Templar in so that he gets a distracted attack force. Or maybe he's waiting to go for an initial attack himself. I take that back on both ends. It looks like he just forgot about it for a second. Now moving it in. So more Probe Massacre. Sees the Double Forge working as well. Dropping. Ugh, obliterating everything. Just, uh, yeah, hasn't been able to protect his Probe lines at all. A Zealot also marching up. Might be able to find this base at the 1 o'clock. Supperman down. 50 supply at this stage and 20 workers. Nilsi feeling comfortable taking that 6 o'clock location base. That will put him at 4. As Supperman just now able to saturate his third. Brief supply block, I will say. The one thing that is advantageous for Supperman is he does have the double upgrades rolling, and I don't... Well, never mind. There's got to be a second forge around here somewhere. So there's one forge. 
So just the delay, where am I missing it? Okay, well the one forge is keeping up somehow, but in theory, eventually Supperman will have the upgrade advantage with the double forge. But right this second, it doesn't matter because he's got a 60 supply count lead. High Templar moving out, maybe with some Miracle Storms from Supperman, he could obliterate some lines, but then he would also have to handle... Well, this isn't bad. It's Nilsi just kind of walking, moving his army. There's some side storms along that right-hand flank. Great side storms from Supperman. That's exactly what he needs to clear out a lot of those troops. Unfortunately, I don't think it's sufficient still. He does have that the High Templar waiting. Some more follow-up side storms. Looks like a lot of the side storm hitting both lines in the middle. But yeah, unfortunately, Nilsi just still has too much. So after everything has been leveled and all size storm expended on both ends. Still has that attract trooping to continue to the natural expansion. Supperman going to call GG right there. And Nilsi will advance. But brutal, brutal game for probes <laughs> all the way around. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Probe Massacre. Thank you for listening.